see that? That was pretty cool, huh? It goes like psh, psh, psh. I've been driving this truck a whole lot more lately. I mean everywhere. Like I've I've driven it to the meet that we just went to. I I drove it to drive throughs go get all my groceries in it, go to the gym in it. I've been daily driving this truck for the past two weeks. I've never done that before because ever since I bought the truck, there's been something a little bit wrong with it. The problem with buying a truck that was built three years ago, a lot of the stuff is outdated. It's old news. Long story short, I replaced the air management system three times. Whenever I first brought the truck, it had AccuAir and then I bought Level Ride for it. That was junk too. And now I have air lift performance management system we'll get to that shout out to brandon he actually installed everything everything works great now love the truck the older management system garbage trash wouldn't even give it away to somebody if i had to speaking of giveaways did you know from now until june 20th you can enter to win my thousand horsepower second gen shorty murder ram click the link above or in the description today to get entered super simple in two months you might get a call from me telling you to come pick up your new truck there's still like two more things i want to change about the truck before i completely rebuild the whole thing uh, these little dinky sway bars, those will be gone soon. I'm tired of my ramen noodle sway bars that bend every single time I flex the truck out. Come on, vamanos. Hey everybody, everybody, let's go. go. Brandon installed this. That says airlift performance. I'm not even sponsored, and it's probably the best air management system on the market. Zero issues so far. So, as you can see, I got this switch at the bottom. That turns on and off the air management system. Before, I would accidentally leave it on and I just wake up in the morning and go start my truck and it's dead, completely dead. When it's off, nothing works. When it's on, the compressor kicks on, the management system kicks on, the flux capacitor under the hood kicks on, everything kicks on and it works perfectly. Watch this, this is my favorite part. Hey babe, you need to get that ball out of that tree? Um, yeah. I, I got you, it's okay. Now I can reach it. Maybe. Probably not still. Might need bigger bags. Before, whenever I let the air out, it'd take like 10 minutes to go from all the way up to all the way down. It was kind of embarrassing. Today, we're gonna see exactly how good this all holds up to me. Now that it works fine, I can go drive it to, where are we going? Brazil? Brazil. Brazil. Today we're going to Brazil to, to test the off-road capabilities of my $200,000 SEMA truck. We best get a move on, we're gonna be late. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot. We also got my tuner to work, so it's not slow anymore. I'm always so afraid that like when people give me like an address to a random place, like imagine if I didn't go to the right place and I'm just like mobbing through somebody's property right now with a monster truck. And then like, well, you know, old Billy with a shotgun comes out of the barn and scrambles my brains real quick, but that's definitely a Duramax with a trailer. So I think we're good. And people are always so happy to like, let me come tear up their land. They're like, Dave's coming to tear up my yard. Hell yeah. Maybe it's a win-win for both of us. They get to see a monster do donuts. It's pretty entertaining. I get to do donuts. That's a nice Duramax. Let's go look at it. Oh, I know this truck. This, yeah, this guy was at uh, Logan's shop one time when I was recording that. It's a cat eye. I would drive it. Can I with a flatbed? Yeah, it's a dually. So we have to drive all the way to the back of the property. So there's like two fields, but he said we should fit. We don't have, uh, the four-wheel drive is still in the bed, so we'll have to manually engage the four-wheel drive if need be, but I think we'll be all right. We got those big tires in the back, so. You don't need four-wheel drive because I already have four tires in the back. What do you need six-wheel drive for? He said, the railroad tracks gets a little tight, but I tried to make it big enough for you. But he also said, wow, this truck is way bigger in person. <laughs> back like a mile. Today we have 300 acres in the great land of Brazil. 
to get my truck dirty with and possibly stuck. We have like legendary bonfires. That's what we need on our property. Mm -hmm. Like once a year, we'll just take all the wood and put it into a big field and invite everybody over and have like a truck show around the bonfire, you know? Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, that gets tight. Oh, not a problem. If I could find a parking spot, I could fit through the ATV trails. Yeah, these are definitely made for side by sides, not 12 foot wide trucks. Keep burying yourself if you keep going back and forth and back and forth. It well, makes it worse. I'll, I'll, I'll hit like the hard rock bottom. No, I'll you won't. I, I got it. All right. Oh yeah, that thing's like buried. Holy crap. I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> Damn, I'm surprised. Those are ag tires. You'd think like they just tear up sand. It is sand, it's not really even mud. I mean those are 53 inch tires and they're almost all the way under the water. You made yourself a nice sandbank to get pulled up onto. Yeah, so it's gonna be nice. It's perfect. I think I'll pull right out. And it really didn't even get that dirty. No, clean it's a, water around here. It's a pretty, pretty clean creek. Yeah, it's clean water. <laughs> well, my idea was I was going to back all the way down in there, do like a, I don't know, just fly all the way through here and then come right up that bank, and I didn't even get past step one. Momentum. Momentum. Yeah, I should have just flew down in there. Next time. Next time. There's another day at the office. Yeah? Yeah. Your hooks 
snapped off. What the <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no. My fusion bumpers didn't do that. Ouch. What a piece of junk. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yikes. Souvenir. Are you kidding? That is insane. What the hell is this? I'm so disappointed. Are you kidding me? I can't even pull out my own truck with the bumpers. What are the point of these bumpers then? What kind of welds are these? It just broke right off. It just like snapped oh it gosh. completely off. All the way up here. These are expensive bumpers too. Them are not cheap. Why the hell did it not withstand that? This is made like What is it, bodyguard? Yeah. Hey, if you, if you want like bumpers, to know, pull out your truck whenever it's stuck, or say you want to pull down some trees with your front. Yeah, don't don't try it with the bodyguard because that <laughs> will break. Well, hopefully your axle doesn't rip off this time. I don't think so. Well, actually, I wouldn't be surprised. Now we're gonna figure out what's good and what's not good on this truck. Game, okay, why do you have a sunroof? <laughs> <laughs> All right, part two. I was thinking about putting mine in too low, but I just didn't. You forgot that switch. Yeah, it's fine. Usually just stays at the mall, but you know. Today we got lost. What do you think now? Back to the field? Yeah! yeah. We'll do some donuts. Trust me, it was a show from the fucking view from the side. <laughs> He's like, I'm having a great time. <laughs> sunroof open one time. Uh, you I was mud in my coffee. That's not my fault. Yes it is. It's, it's the mud's fault. I didn't mean to get the mud inside. Why you pay all this money to have a sunroof? Not to have it open when you go money. That's stupid. Mm. Oh look at that OBS. Plus they get to do this every day. Ah, oh, close the window. Jesus. Oh, oh, my bad.
Huh. I got, I tried to, I was just trying to go to Walmart. I couldn't, I got lost. Now we're here. I don't know what happened. Dang, this thing is roasting hot. Yeah. It's mostly the brakes are on fire. Mm, a little duh. Because it, there's mud stuck inside of the brakes. Feels nice because it's cold outside. Feels nice because it's cold outside. Those are really nice wheels. Not gonna lie. One of my favorite ones I've ever had. Oh my step. No. Oh. Cardi 2.0. You know, these wheel walls are painted, and now they're they're painted with mud. There's a little pond in there. <laughs> Do you get a new custom paint job? Huh? Did you get a new custom paint job? Yes, it's it's this new color. I actually made it myself. It's called uh, it's called mud. Just just mud. That's the paint coat. Mud. Cool. You like it? Yeah. Pretty cool. It was kind of expensive. Definitely beats tuxedo black. <laughs> it's tuxedo black. Cool. Ooh. That's actually pretty cake. Got a big car wash anywhere? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Everybody came out to watch. <laughs> they said, a monster truck's gonna come tear up the field. They said, okay. <laughs> nice mirrors you got. Oh, thank you. I made it myself. Did you? Yep. It's pretty cool. Thanks. You should do my mirrors like that. Oh, really? You let me? Yeah. In the first gen? No. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little sketchy, just because of how tall it is. It definitely needs bigger sway bar. <laughs> oh, we're racing. I won. Get! <laughs> that looks so fun to just have like a beater truck. We don't really have those. We kind of just... This is your beater truck. A two hundred thousand dollar beater truck. SEMA truck. No, beater beater truck. That's the new show this year. It's called the Beater Show. Okay. Oh, look at the stars. I guess we're gonna wash this thing off so you know we can drive it an hour back home. I think we're the only people to do that. Drive our SEMA trucks, take them mudding, and then drive them home mm -hmm. like nothing happened. <laughs> Wait, do they fold still? Oh, oh, oh. Huh, they still work. Gotta try harder next time. I want my mirrors not to be able to close. Oh my god. Holy cow. Did you? What? I don't know the foot tire. Oh, probably the end of the Is that a 90? Uh, probably, no. probably not. Smaller body. Ah! Oh, oh. It's not tall enough? A little no, no, Just no. lay down. A little body. Lay down, Art. Right. Drop it down. <laughs> Is that the one that makes you go fast a little longer? That one's big red? Or what's this? Big black? Big, big black. Definitely not worse than what I think. You don't think so? No. Oh. I but saw a picture of it on Instagram. Keep, you keep going. Yeah, you, might you might want to go look a little, a little closer. closer. Why? What'd you break? No. Where's the hook at? <laughs> What'd you break? The bumper. How do you break a bumper? I, exactly. I'm glad you got more money than me. <laughs> How did you break the bumper? I don't know. It's a piece of junk. Where's the other hook at? In my bed. Ain't that something? No, oh, that's pretty shitty. Yeah, these are the expensive ass bumpers. And they Call just... these guys up. Yeah, I, I already bought new bumpers from Fusion. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're not taking my truck anymore. I'm not taking your truck anywhere? No. Which one? Both. <laughs>